Hey guys, join me in my kitchen today when I take these two pieces of bread, turn them into this with a star in the middle to make this beautiful, yummy, delicious peanut butter uncrustable sandwich. And I use my Tupperware sandwich maker with the knife and the cutting board. Be sure to like and share my video and I'll see you in a few. kitchen. So today I'm going to do something a little bit more simple and I'm going to use a product that was currently on special um, a little bit ago that I know a lot of you bought or a lot of you were talking about and that is our little sandwich maker that has the cutting board, the little uncrustable sandwich maker, and then the little knife that goes with it. So I'm going to go ahead and do just a basic peanut butter and jelly sandwich to show you how it works. Some of you were wondering um, how you go about using it so I'll show you how. So I'm gonna put my peanut butter and jelly over there. I'm gonna grab my pieces of bread. Let me grab it out from here. Super is easy video this week. Um, next week, or actually this weekend, I'm gonna be working on one that uses our Ultra Pro Roasting Pan, which is a Hostess Special for this month. Okay, so I got, let me just put my bread over here. So I got my two pieces of bread right here. I have my uh, cutting board. So I'm gonna use uh, one piece of bread right now and I'm gonna use either this side or this other side. Let me see if you can see it closer. Um, it has a little, little star right there. So, and the other side doesn't, the other side is blank. So one piece you're gonna use the star side and the other piece you're gonna use the blank side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of center it as best that I can. And this is actually my first time using it as well. I'm gonna push it down and then you see it's in there. I'm just gonna pop it out. You either pop it out with your finger or you can take the knife that it came with and pop it out that way. And I'm gonna set that piece aside. So I have press here and I'll tell you what you can do with them later on after this video. Now I'm gonna take the star side because I didn't use the star side the first time. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, get it as center as I can. I guess I should have grabbed from the middle of my bread loaf because those are the little bit larger pieces. And I just kind of push it around to kind of, just like a cookie cutter. And now you can see, you can kind of see that star through. So to push it through a little bit more, I just kind of use my finger to do that. And I might have to just uh, punch it through when I get it out. As you can see, there's a little star. So I'm just gonna take it out like that. And there you go, there's that little star. I'm gonna bring up the bread so you can see it a little closer, that star right there. Now we have our bread for our sandwich. So I'm gonna put this aside just for now. And you're wondering, I'm gonna waste all this crust by using this little sandwich maker. But you know what, you can save this crust. You can make uh, homemade croutons out of this. You could even make a homemade uh, breakfast casserole using the bread crust. So stick them in a baggie and use, uh, be creative and use them for something else so you're not wasting them. If you have ducks around your area, go feed the ducks. Okay, so now we have our two pieces of round bread right here. And now I'm gonna take my peanut butter. Um, typically, I would probably use this knife but um, my peanut butter is almost all gone, so I'm gonna use my uh, silicone spatula so I can get it out better. And I don't wanna dirty two things, so. I'm gonna go ahead and smooth on some peanut butter. And I was thinking before I was starting the video that you could use other things, like you could do a tuna fish sandwich or a chicken sandwich like this too, which would be really fun for kids or for adults. Um, you could also take a pie crust and do some pie fillings with it and just stuff like that. So now I got my jelly. It's a little squeezable jelly. Let's see if I can squeeze it on here. I might have got a little bit too much there. That's okay though. I'm going to spread it around. Okay. And now I'm going to put, put this top piece right directly on top of it. And I'm gonna come closer and show you why that star is there. So you're making a whole bunch of sandwiches and people want different kinds of jelly. Well, you see right there, you see the red jelly popping through, you know that it's raspberry or strawberry, whatever kind that you have. Or if you see a purple jelly popping through, you know that it's grape. 
and plus it's really fun for kids anyways. So now we're gonna get our little sandwich presser again. Let me put this in my sink. And then I'm gonna put it down on the end. I'm gonna kind of squish it down because it's gonna be squished anyways on the ends, but I just wanna kind of help it a little bit, which is fine. And then once it's down like that, I'm gonna go ahead and push it down. I have really weak hands, just to let you know. My husband makes fun of me. So I'm just gonna squeeze it like this because this is easier for me. Just to make sure it's sealed. And then I'm gonna pop it out. And look what I have here. I have a homemade, uncrustable sandwich that I can easily give to, if I had a, a young child at home. I do have my adult child living at home, but you see right there, this is amazing. It has that little star right there, so cute. I mean, you could do this every day for your child's lunch if your child did go back to school, you know, and throw in this little star to go with it. You know, you could like put on a little, let's see, let's be creative here. Let me put on a little jelly glue. That's what I'll call it, jelly glue. Just right on the back of that. Oop, look at me drop it. And then I'm just gonna jelly glue it on right there so you have two stars. And that's really, that's it. That's how simple it is. Remember, oh, I don't know why I put this in my sink, but it comes with, it came with this knife, this old nice spreading knife, which you could even use for mayonnaise and stuff like that around the house. Um, and then the sandwich maker, which has the star on one side and then it's blank on the other side. And remember, you use it like a cookie cutter and then you place it on the inside. Sorry, my phone rang and I forgot to put it on Do Not Disturb, but you smush it down really hard and then you have this amazing peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'll put it up close again so you can see it. And then you add on the little jelly star right there. I used the jelly glue to hold it in place and your child will be happy no matter what the age. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and you know how to um, kind of know how to use this if you did buy it from me or if you bought it from another consultant. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to contact me, leave a message, comment in one of my pictures or videos, and be sure to share my video to get the word out because the more the merrier, right? And I'll see you guys later.